What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com. So let's jump right on in and talk a little bit about these PTO shafts on your tractors. So if you're not real familiar with this, a lot of times you'll run into two different kinds of tractors where you will have one that has just one PTO shaft on it at all times, but then we'll also have another set of tractors that sometimes will have a reversible PTO shaft. Now, if you don't know, PTO shafts are gonna come in different sizes. We're gonna have such things as 540 like this here, and then also 1000 RP shafts like this so we can see the difference in the two sets of grooves here now on the thousand rpm shafts there you will have a small thousand and a large thousand so you need to make sure and check whenever you're buying your implements which one that you need now what we're doing here is we have a tractor here that has a reversible pto shaft now this is going to switch from the 540 to the thousand so right down here on our pto shaft if we see that we have this snap ring that's sticking out right here. This is gonna indicate that this is a reversible shaft. So what this means is that I can actually take this snap ring loose with a set of pliers here, pull this shaft out, and then switch it around to the other side to get that thousand. Now this is gonna be like we showed the 540 here. This is gonna have those larger splines. So to change this out, we're just gonna take that set of pliers, get that right on the end of that snap ring, and then just start to pull it out let off slowly on that ring. You can go ahead and pull that out, set it here where we won't lose it. Then we can go ahead and pull the shaft out. Now here is where we're going to have our 1000 RPM side and our 540. Now, all we have to do to change this back to the thousand is simply turn it around just like this. And then we're going to have these splines here on the middle that are gonna line up with our splines here on the inside going into the PTO of the tractor. We're gonna take that 540, start to set it in, get those splines lined up. And before we go in with that, we're gonna set on our snap ring here. We're gonna make sure that we're getting that snap ring into the grooves here. So this can get a little complicated whenever we grab it with our pliers here. We want to get that pinched all the way down, making sure that our snap ring is on the flat spot here of the shaft. Squeeze that down, we're gonna push it in, let off on our snap ring, and just like that, we have switched that back out. So one more time here, just need to grab onto that snap ring. We can actually use that to pull out here on the shaft. Don't lose our snap ring. And we can see here the flat spot here. This is where our snap ring ends need to be lined up at. So I want to flip that back around, get it back to our 540 and go back on with our snap ring here. Make sure that it's lined up with the flat spots. Get that good and compressed. Push in. Let off on our snap ring. Make sure that we're good and seated. Give that another push, hear that clip in, and we'll see our snap ring expand just like that. Now, depending on what implements you are running on your machine, you may never have to do this, but if you do have that larger tractor and you're looking at running different implements that are gonna take different styles of PTO, going from that 540, to the 1000 a good thing to check is to see if your tractor does have that reversible pto if so it's going to be a very similar system to this very easy to do so now you have more versatility with your tractor but guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask that you'd hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you're needing any parts for your john deere equipment make sure to check us out at 247parts.com and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.